InVideo AI Video Generator. Now, this is a AI video generator from InVideo that can create an entire YouTube video with just one prompt. From prompt to video generating, editing, and all of that will take you less than five minutes. And the best part is that you no longer need a video editor, a voiceover, or a script writer. InVideo will do all of that for you. In this video, I'll show you how InVideo AI works. So if you want to follow along this tutorial, click the link down below for a free sign up account. Now let's get started. So to sign up to your free account, you can get started with the link provided in the description box down below. From here, you will find the InVideo AI where you can get started with creating a simple prompt. Now it's very essential to be super detailed or specific for your prompt. We're going to be creating a YouTube Shorts video. So let's say I want to create a simple short on the most unhealthy snacks. So now if I put in this kind of prompt, it's going to be very generalized. So you want to make this a little more specific. You want to include more information within your prompt. So you want to add more intel because it's going to build a particular video that later on won't require as many edits by you. So make sure you mention the platform, the topic, the duration, what kind of tone you're going for, as well as the type of voiceover it, you require or the video requires and any other kind of particular detail you might want to include. So let's say if I want to include the diseases that certain snacks might cause or, you know, the health issues that might come along, then I need to mention that in my prompt as well. So what I'm going to do a simple short on the most unhealthy snacks, include three snacks. And then after that, let's say I want this to be a educational video, educational tone and use a female voiceover with minimal background music. Now, after you have provided all of these details, you will see this little box on the top right, which is the workflow. So in your workflow, you're going to select what kind of script this is going to generate. So the script can be optimized for the particular viewership or platform that it is for. If you're building this for your own website, you can go for custom script, but we're going to continue on with YouTube shorts. And I want to make this about this is about snacks and unhealthy foods. I want this to be in the female voice and the accent that I want is a clear American voice. After that, I have subtitles. So I want to show subtitles and you can use iStock images or not. Then you want to click on continue over here. After that, you can click on generate a video. Now, once you do that, in video will ask you a couple of more questions. So these are regarding the tone audience and platform. Now, what this enables in video to do is that it is going to help you build the correct audience and the overall feel that you want for your channel or for your video. So let's say I want this for health enthusiast. I want this to be right and i also want it to be for youtube shorts then i will click on continue over here and now in video is generating our video so in a couple of seconds our video has been generated and now let's take a brief look at what our short video is looking Welcome like so you guys can see that this video is incredible i could post this as it is on youtube shorts and it would be a great short for a health oriented channel i personally really like this video but you can further customize this and add your own information. So you can see on the top right, you have this plus icon. And from here, you can change the audience that you have. And every time you change the audience, the overall feel of the video will be changed. And you and InVideo will build a alternate version using pretty much the same script and the same topic and build a alternate video. So in this way, you can make the same video and different target audiences. You can have different YouTube channels and run pretty similar content, but directed towards different audiences. Now, after that, you can also edit the script or the media that you have. So if you don't like any of these stock images that they have used, you can click on edit on the bottom right. Once you click on edit, you can click on edit script. And from here, you can edit any word. So let's say I don't want to include these lines over here. 
like this i can shorten my script like this so i can change any part i can include any part that i want and then i can click on apply changes on the bottom right and now that line has been removed so now it's just resyncing up the voice and the voice over so we're just going to wait for that to be completed and just like that our script has been changed to change media simply click on edit media on the bottom right and then you can choose any other media file so let's say i don't like this image of people grabbing chips i want a alternate so i can click on this and then i can click on the bottom right over here where i can search in stock footage or i can choose to upload but i want to search so i will search for eating chips and let's say i want to use this video over here like this one i can click on apply and then the video will be changed now let's take a look at our changed clip so you guys can see that is our alternate clip where we have our little image of a child eating chips and in this way you can alter any scene within your ai generated video now the best part about in video and this is a really unique feature that you're not going to find anywhere else that is generating with a simple command so on the bottom you will see this little text box that says give me a command to edit the video and you can just put in a text command and it will edit the video accordingly so i can ask it to build a extra scene and then i am just asking it to build a final extra scene where it asks people to subscribe for more dietary advice now you can add multiple different commands in once so i will later on add another command and i'll show you guys how you can do multiple commands all in one now let's take a look at our alternate scene so you guys can see it has added another wonderful scene about subscribing and how people can stay up to date with our content now you can add a myriad of commands over here so let's say i want to so i want to make the last scene shorter and more concise so i've asked it to change the scene the length or duration of the scene i've also altered the music to make it more pop and make a voiceover that is more casual and just like that i can click on generate and it's going to take a couple of minutes for all of these commands to be fulfilled it's going to break down the commands that i have put in and then it will generate my video accordingly so i'm just going to wait for that so our prompts have now been completed. You can further edit it and add more commands if you want to. Now, after I have completed my video and I'm satisfied with the overall video, I can click on export over here on the bottom right, and then I can click on export video. Now you have different settings, obviously for YouTube, you want to go with 1080p or 4k, and then you have watermarks. So there is a free version of NVIDIA AI available and that has watermarks. So I would recommend that you choose a plan on InVideo to get started with working for YouTube or working for your content. So if we take a look at InVideo, it can start as low as $25 a month where you get 50 minutes of AI generation. And you also have the max plan for Teams where you can get 200 minutes of AI generation for only $60 per month, as well as other iStock benefits as well. So you can get started with InVideo AI for free, but if you're serious about video creation or content creation and you want to publish videos without a watermark, which I highly recommend that you do, you should upgrade to a paid plan, which starts as low as $20 a month. And I have left my personal link in the description box down below for you to sign up for free. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next video.